Kalau yang daripada Tuan Fahan, okay, analisa untuk U, U, uh, USD CAD uh, tengah float sell ni. Okay, I think uh, USD CAD, uh, we talked about two weeks ago uh, ataupun three weeks ago. Okay, uh, but never mind, uh, we share the, let me share my screen. Okay, okay, so boleh nampak eh? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So, kalau kita tengok sini, I think uh, we were talking about USD CAD uh, somewhere di company bullish and then we say there will be retracement and then continue uh, ke atas lah sebab we are expecting US dollar to uh, strengthen. Okay. So, kita nampak I think 125 uh, become a support zone and then it push up almost about 250 pips So now if you ask me uh, on the on the bigger time frame or even if I go to on the four hourly time frame, uh, this is what I'm looking at it, okay? A bit of a retracement and break up this zone again and then continue, okay? So, so about, uh, towards FOMC, we are looking at US dollar uh, strength, okay? But you can, uh, can be a bit volatile, so that means this retracement, it might spike down a bit baru naik ke atas. Okay, but still the direction as long as maybe 125 uh, atau 124.50 hold, okay, uh, the direction still uh, up. Sebab sekarang ni, uh, siapa yang trade cat, uh, normally they know they need to also watch out for oil price. Oil price uh, is actually uh, taking a dive uh, ataupun taking a correction, okay, uh, for, for the short term. So that's also impacting uh, UCAT price to go up. Okay, so if oil price keep coming down, you, this price uh, you get uh, will go up. That means uh, there is a potential uh, you get can even go and test uh, 130. It can go even test 131. Okay, but it depends on the uh, orang kata number one oil price uh, movement whether it's going to break down to 69 or 68 or uh, 67. If you keep uh, diving to about the lower price, then you get. And second, in terms of the, I was talking about just now about the dot plot and also the uh, tapering uh, that most likely may happen. That will give a boost to US dollar strength. If, if both uh, come into play, that means uh, the, the breakout will be even stronger. Okay, that means it can move even another 300, uh, 400 pips uh, on the upside. But Uh, bear in mind there will be a minor correction to come and uh, test support whether it's at, at 127 or uh, 126.50 uh, then uh, try the opportunity uh, to go long on this pair okay at this point you get uh, is uh, orang kata uh, kata satu lagi uh, Monday ni ada election uh, result coming up uh, in Canada okay so if Nothing uh, surprises ataupun there's no orang kata big uh, ni. Uh, we are expecting Canada to weaken, okay, uh, beyond the election right, right now, okay. Uh, so that also give a boost to UK, okay. Uh, so, but if election something uh, orang kata goes in favor of Canadian dollar, then that might be a bit of a deeper correction, but still the direction ataupun trend still uh, up for UK. Okay. Okay, baik. Terima kasih Cikgu Rashid. So, itu analisa untuk USD CAD ya. So, kita 